You know the drill. It's time for a recap. So this time around, it's time to work on the characters because everybody actually only cares about the characters. Of course we do. We're people. We love characters. We, we know our characters don't do the characters. So characters are always the focal point of the painting. So I try really hard to make these characters actually good looking. And it's hard to have to say so myself. That's pumpkin. I'm sure it's looking quite fancy and handsome. Oh, right. Where was I? Right. Uh, off topic. <laughs> Sorry. It is time to enjoy the show. Okay. Uh, and uh, that's it for me. Uh, have a good one. Bye. 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 Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shwampy, and I'm happy to have you here. If you haven't been uh, on this journey with me so far, this is a series of videos dedicated to redrawing trashy old art and making it into something decent. So, grab yourself a beverage, grab yourself a sketchbook, and let's get to work as I redraw my old illustration called The Pumpkin Storyteller. Oh boy, has it been a while since I started working on this illustration. And I'm very happy I did. Giving the illustration enough time to uh, actually be dedicated to every step along the way and being very mindful in what I'm doing and giving myself the space and time to make sure that every stage of the process is done right is why this illustration is far more superior than the first one I did a couple of years ago. And why I love this one so much more, because it has more depth to it, uh, the render is far superior, and the story, there is a story there. And I did this by changing the composition of the original illustration, adding a new character, which is the little cat girl sitting there, and thus creating a dynamic between the cat girl and the pumpkin who's telling the story right now you have um, you know something going on and by seeing their interaction you can get a sense of the story behind a piece so giving this piece enough time giving it more character giving it a story a reason a why all of that uh, has allowed me to create a better piece so how did i do that well like i said first i worked on the composition making sure that everything worked. Then I did the paintings on the walls. After that, it was time for the props. And once the props were done, I went to the characters and painted those in, and then brought all of these elements together. And now with lighting and values and all of that lovely stuff, I'm actually trying to make sure that every element looks like it belongs on the piece, like it's actually interacting with each other. And you can do a lot with very little. So I was definitely trying uh, to make smarter decisions when making this illustration and not just, you know, randomly putting marks here and there. I wanted to make sure that I was doing it right. So giving yourself enough time and actually thinking about what you're doing can greatly help you improve your skills and improve your work no matter what you're doing, if you're painting or if you're if you're a musician or if you're a writer, doesn't matter, no matter what you're doing, make sure you, you give yourself enough time and that you give the product that you're working on the love and attention it deserves. So thank you so much for being with me throughout this journey. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope that you're inspired to work on something that you're interested in on a project and give it your love that it deserves so to all my patrons thank you so much to all my viewers thank you so much and yeah if you're interested to becoming a patron yourself make sure you can you visit patreon.com slash and i will see you in the future hopefully you know if the apocalypse doesn't happen right so till then take care and much love